Imagine making a product or processing paperwork or helping people or whatever you do in a fraction of the time and at a world-class level. And what if you knew someone who's done it enough times that they only need a marker to show you how to get there? This is Jeremy from The Lean Workshop and I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. We're going to set up a five-step process and we're going to walk through it. Those are the workstations and those are the people. These are some inboxes and outboxes. Each piece takes a minute, and each of these five steps is a one minute process. That way we can keep the math real easy. No arguing. So far so good? We're gonna start with 10 pieces. Here you go. And the first person is gonna work on it for a minute, and after one minute, the first piece is done. After two minutes, the second piece is done. After three minutes, the third one is done, and so on until all 10 pieces are done. And the first step took 10 minutes, right? Now we're going to forward that batch on to the next department, and they're going to start running those 10 pieces through the step two process. And since it's a minute each in our simple example, after 20 minutes, step two is done, and off to department three. Now aside from the piece on the desk being worked on, notice the items in the inboxes and outboxes are just sitting there waiting, either waiting to be worked on or finished and waiting to be sent on to the next step. Take a look, do you see it? Now bear in mind here, We've been working for 33, 4, 5 minutes, and we have nothing to show for it yet. We've paid about 40 minutes in labor, involved 4, now 5 employees, and we still don't have a single finished item. Now finally, after 41 minutes, the first piece is completed. I'm sure that customer is thrilled. And now as we come up on the 10th piece, we've taken 50 minutes to do these 10 pieces. We've paid about 50 minutes in labor, and our customers have waited about 50 minutes for these 10. Now let's do these same 10 pieces in one piece flow using the same five steps and the same five people. And we're gonna take the same amount of time to do each piece. We're not gonna hurry. We'll take the same amount of time to carefully work on them. Remember, lean is not about hurrying. It's not about making people work harder. It's about making things simpler. So instead, after one minute, a slight change. We pass to the next process. And the first piece begins its second step. And after two minutes, the first piece continues on to the third process and work progresses this way. When a piece finishes in one process, it continues to flow right into the next process. No sitting in an outbox or bin and never touching a shelf. Now after five minutes, the first piece is done and ready for that first customer, who no longer has to wait 41 minutes. Every time a piece finishes at a process, it continues to flow forward. Instead of it sitting there and waiting, we move it to the next step where something can be done to it. Novel idea. Work continues to flow steadily, just like a river, until all 10 pieces are done. And there we are with eight pieces done in 12 minutes, nine in 13 minutes, and the 10th piece done in 14 minutes. From 41 minutes to five, and from 50 minutes to 14. And this was accomplished by actually putting in less effort and eliminating some of the in-between tasks that don't matter. Now you may be saying, that's common sense, but how often do we actually work in batches? Any of these sound familiar? I print everything out, then I stuff envelopes last. Sorry, we require a minimum order of 200. I won't be going, I have a stack of contracts to work through this weekend. What a coincidence, I have a stack of orders on my desk. I have a stack of patient charts to file. Those charts took me so long that now I have a backup of meds to deliver. We only offer that procedure on Tuesdays when the specialist comes in. I sit down and respond to all my emails at the end of the day. Hmm, so much for common sense. Now imagine if we all worked closer to one piece flow. How would it affect our lead times? How would it affect our labor? What happens to our quality if department one and two sit together? What about our inventory costs if we don't have stuff piled up and waiting? And beyond that, how would it help our office productivity, customer service, patients, government? So, what would you do with an extra 30 minutes or more every hour? And more importantly, when are you going to start?